Welcome back folks. And before we get into this week's video, we are just putting the final touches onto it now. Um, I'd like to point out that yes, I am aware there is toothpaste on my lip for the opening, I don't know, six minutes or so. No, I was not aware of it when filming. You're such an idiot. Anyway, here's what we've been up to this week. <laughs> I won't lie folks, filming this video is going to be a little bit strange. It has been almost to the day, exactly four years since Emily, my wife and I, bought this van and set upon converting it into our own tiny little home on wheels. Hello, we've just bought our new van. You might want to pull your trousers up. <laughs> Is that what you're wearing? Yeah. I got my day shirt on. <laughs> I got my cap. Big towel. Now we have traveled throughout Europe extensively in it for long periods of time. And in spite the fact that we said we would never, ever, ever sell our house to live in a van. This is our house, by the way, here. This week, over the next few days, we're gonna be emptying the entire contents of this house and moving permanently into this van. Now, if you've been around for a while, you'll know that in between every single trip, we come back and we do some sort of modification to the van. Now, because we've traveled in it quite a lot at this point, it's pretty much good to go, but there are a couple of things, uh, mostly storage for Emily's shoes, that we're gonna need to do. So that is my task for today. And yes, I am working on a wheelie bin uh, because I've packed the workmate and I've got no idea where it is, but it'll be fine. I've only got a couple of cuts to do. So for nostalgic purposes then, and for David, if he's still watching these videos four years later, let's cut some wood poorly by the side of the van, roll that van build music. Turns out one wheelie bin isn't enough for wood cutting. I had to get in a second. If you're wondering why this one's got no lid, by the way, it's because our bin men just chuck them around. So I've made a bit of an error, nothing too major. I don't know if you can see, I've just come away from the line a little bit there, about an inch. Looks like something straight out of the wheels where about school of van building. No, I'm only joking. I'm just gonna belt sand that out and then we can test fit it. Absolutely love Will's Whereabouts, by the way. Top geezer. And if you're into vans, he has some great content on his channel. So yeah, Will's Whereabouts, check that out. Right. Let's take about half hour. You can tell I ain't done this for a while. I've made another massive error. Wrong hat, I'm wearing my best hat. So a switch of hat is needed. I'm telling you, once sawdust makes its way into a hat, it's very hard to get it out. Ooh, like a glove. Honestly, I have still got it. Look at that. It's time that you made your mind up. Cause lately all it ever does is change. There's a girl. I can honestly say, do not use a wheelie bin with no lid and rubbish in it as your work, mate. It stinks and it's uh, attracting the wasp, so not fun. Right, it's in, well the bulk of it's in. You're probably wondering 
Uh, if you've been around, you're probably wondering what the hell am I doing? This area of the van, this is AJ's den where our dog sleep, has been modified several times now, either for dog comfortability or for weight. This time, it's for Emily and her additional shoe storage. If you tuned in last week, she's got quite a few pairs of shoes and she insists that she needs about 10 on the road. I know it's not van life etiquette to bring 10 pairs of shoes on the road, but she's doing it. Uh, the reason I've done this is twofold though. So it's gonna give us a bit of storage for all of Emmy's shoes underneath here. Uh, so that'll just flap up like that. But also it's gonna provide some ventilation for our dog. Now, when it's cold, the floor gets very, 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 very cold and his bed, which was just, you know, just a normal dog bed before, would sit on the cold floor. The dog would be warm and what would happen, you'd get condensation build up and he could get quite damp. So I'm going to drill a load of holes in this, uh, one for weight and two, so that when the diesel heater is chucking out heat, our diesel heater uh, comes out from down there. When that's chucking out heat, it can come up, flow underneath and he can get a bit of ventilation and the same in the summer when he's too hot, it'll give him a bit of airflow. So yeah, twofold reason for doing it. It's gonna look a bit odd, but there comes a point in any van build or any uh, van life living where functionality wins over appearance and we are at that point. So we wanna be comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna drill a load of holes in this and then it should be good to go. Drilled a hole in the wheelie bin there, don't want that. A perfectly immaculate, well kept wheelie bin. This is going to take some time. Lovely. There we go then, it is in. If you're wondering where Emily is, by the way, don't worry, you're not gonna miss her. She is in the house, she's cracking on with the kitchen. It is proving to be a mammoth task. Uh, we're gonna check her in a sec, but I'll quickly show you. It's all very simple, really, that's it. And then it just lifts up and then under there, you can have shoes and whatnot. I'm gonna leave it floating. Um, obviously this will need a coat of paint and a tidy up, but I'm leaving it floating purely so that AJ gets that circulation that I was saying about. I won't paint it just yet though until his lordship has been in and approved because we all know if AJ doesn't like it, I will be changing it again, but it's not too high off the ground. It's only about four inches off the ground, so he should be all right getting on and off. And like I say, it should help with him. Right, let's go and see what mood Emily's in. Oh my word, <laughs> how's it going? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm uh, contemplating my life choices right now <laughs> and yeah, I'm looking around and um, I'm just gonna go out for a day and leave you to it. Um, this by the way, I know we're getting rid of stuff but we have bought a new mattress, that is for the van, you'll see that go in in a sec. <laughs> You're not loving life are you? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not. I feel. I feel a little bit overwhelmed with the uh, the crap that we've got and a little bit disappointed in ourselves that we've hoarded so much stuff, do you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're meant to be minimalist people. I thought we was quite minimalist until I opened up this drawer. <laughs> and all drawer. of this stuff is from this drawer. From that one drawer? <laughs> yeah. Do you want some help with it? Yeah, because a lot of it actually, I feel, was yours. Of course it's my fault, yep. So... 100% it was going to be my fault, wasn't it? Right, let's get this out of the way and then we can crack on in here. To you. To me, to you, to me. Where do we begin? Stay up front or stay behind. It's not that easy. It's never easy. So it doesn't look like we're getting very far, but we are. A lot of it is we have to go through it, decide what we're keeping, what's charity shop, what's for the bin, what's going in storage, and what's going in the van. So it's a lot of moving stuff around and slowly decreasing, right? Oh, it's hard work. I'm not going to lie to you. But we have found some crackers of Emily as a child, so let me show you these. So I'll give you guys a second to guess which one Emily is, but the height ratio should give it away. There she is. Look at her cute little face. It was my birthday. You have not aged a day. What else you got? Look, doing some good singing. Oh, you don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Eating, obviously. obviously. Good moves. Good moves. You've still got the good moves, to be fair. Moves like Jagger, me. Yeah. Moves like Jagger. Let us know in the comments if you think Emily was a little cutie. In fact, let us know in the comments if you think she still is a cutie, because I do, don't I? That's because I am.
Can you pass me? I need that as well. <laughs> I need the cheese grater. <laughs> you don't need nothing. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, would you put the cheese right back? <laughs> oh my God. So we're just trying, I don't know, we probably all get this. We're trying, we've got loads of keys and we just don't know what they all are. So is this a common thing? Do we all end up with keys? that we, I think they was left when we bought the house. I think so and we've just kept them but we clearly we'll, we'll have leave, never we'll used them. We'll leave them for the next them. person because we'll they'll do something. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Right. <laughs> yeah. I need boxes. Boxes, where are they upstairs? Yeah, because you've got to make them up, remember? Make up the boxes. She's absolutely useless. Although I do feel like I'm just moving stuff out to literally just move it about a little bit. Oh, it's just so hard because there's so much like... I'm feeling a little... Oh, what am I doing? Have you got the tape down here? Yes. Right, and some scissors. Are they down? Oh, middle drawer's not as fun. <sighs> I can't cope. You see what I'm working with here? I'm trying to get things done. I'm on a time scale. My word, that was horrendous. But at least we have now finished the kitchen and some of the van stuff has got done. I'd forgotten how long it takes to do jobs in the van and make videos at the same time. We've actually missed lunch. So Emily is um, giving me the evil because she's quite hungry. Um, actually, you can win our lunch this week. Now I know that sounds a bit odd. I'll explain more in a minute. But because we're in a rush and we've still got a lot to do, we're turning to our old favourites and that is Y Foods. Now most of you have seen us using this stuff all of the time, all over Europe, we love it. But if you don't know, it's a full meal replacement in a drink. So we're going for the powder this week. I've got the, thank you very much, I've got the crazy coconut flavour. Emily is obviously going for the choco. Now the powder is great because you can grab yourself a taster pack, try all the different flavours. When you know which one you like, you can then order that in a big bag. And because it has a long shelf life, it is brilliant in the van. So you can just keep it in the cupboard and then when you're trying to avoid unhealthy snacks, you can just get this stuff. All you do is pour it into the dedicated shaker, add water, shake it up. Now you must remember to do the official Y Food Shake. Emily does it so well. Do the Y Food Shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh yeah. And then that is it, you are good to go and it tastes delicious. Now, like I said, you can win our lunch. So Y Food have noticed that so many of you already uh, enjoy Y Foods as much as we do. So they are running with us a competition where you can win yourself 95 quid's worth of the stuff. That's right, it's so exciting. Emily, it's very, why are you so excited? You've got loads. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice to give something back. Yes, yeah, so if you do enjoy Y Foods or you want to try it and haven't taken the leap yet, then all you need to do, there's a dedicated, what they got to do? They got to go into the link in the description and fill out a couple of questions. Yes, yeah, so there's a dedicated questionnaire that you'll need to fill in. It's like four or five questions. The reason we're doing it that way is to avoid scammers and whatnot. So we will not be contacting you directly for any reason. We're not going to be getting your bank details or anything like that. So just fill in the form, answer the, f I think it's Five, four or five questions and then that is your entry so if anyone does contact you especially on telegram they are not real so just ignore those if you do already buy Y Foods and you don't want to wait to see if you can win the competition or if you're going to enter the competition you might as well buy some this week as well because instead of 10% which is what we normally give you there's a huge 20% off now it does run out tomorrow night at midnight so that's the 28th at midnight so if you want to do that get it now because then we'll be going back to the 10% yeah, get it quick. Uh, I think that's it. That is it, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit flustered because it's very warm, we're very busy. <laughs> I know in my head how much we've still got left to do, but yeah, Y Foods is brilliant because it saves us having to worry about healthy food on days like this. Um, I'll leave all the stuff you need in the description. Camper YouTube is the code, go and check it out. Right, we're gonna fill up on this and then hit the next job. Oh, <laughs> let's go.
We're just about to attempt the mattress switch, but we forgot we needed to take all the bedding off first. Plus, I've not measured that mattress to check we wasn't here when it was delivered, so hopefully it's going to be easy, but I feel not. I think it looks a lot bigger than this mattress. It does, it is thicker. So normally we get our mattresses from custom sized beds and they're brilliant, but what we have found is um, after like a year of use, because we're in the van pretty much all the time, it is starting to get permanent dents and it is hurting your hip, isn't it? Yes, it is. And my back. So we've gone for a proper mattress. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I don't think it's going to go well, Louise. And you've got to make your own bed afterwards. Okay. Are you feeling strong? Oh, yes. Always. It does look massive. Does it? I, don't, I just don't know. Ready? Heave. Mm -hmm. Ho. To me, to you, to me, to you. We are the Chuckle Brothers in female form. <laughs> On the drain. <laughs> How are you going to lift it up? Oh, should I should have to lift it up first. <laughs> all day just to do a few bits it's ridiculous how long things actually take you isn't it you think it's gonna be quick and no no but the mattress fits though and it feels pretty cut it's quite bouncy isn't it i know this is quite good i really like this i think it's gonna be so comfy we will let you know in due course don't ask us for recommendations because we need to test it for at mm -hmm. least a year before we can recommend it hopefully it is better than what we had though i need to sit up because my arm won't stay <laughs> up there for much longer <laughs> Uh, I think that's us pretty much done for the day. We still need to take the dog out for a decent long walk and whatnot, don't we? Yes, we do. And yeah. we will pick this up with more van jobs, house clearing. Uh, it must be so exciting for you lot, I apologise. I'm this sorry, is... but you if I've got to go through this, you've got to come along as well. This and is torture. This is currently our life, so we'll see you lot tomorrow. We're going to test out this new mattress. <laughs> Welcome to the loft folks, welcome to a whole another day, really exciting packing content. This is the part I'm looking forward to the least. Oi. Now yesterday, sorry we lost you yesterday, it's just so much to do, so little time and it's very very hot, summer has finally arrived here in England. Yesterday we cleared out the entire main bedroom so that's completely empty so that all the stuff we can get out of here can go into there but I didn't want to bore you too much with me taking apart um, furniture and more sorting of clothes because that's pretty much what the day consisted of. Bit of a clean and a tidy out in there and then we've got a little van that Emily's borrowed that we're chucking all our stuff in. We also did the living room or the big stuff. The big stuff in our house has to go out through the back garden, through the back gate because it doesn't fit through our tiny little front door. So yeah, big day yesterday but we're committed, we're motivated, aren't we? Yeah! Bring it on! <laughs> Loving it, isn't you? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm not sure. I can't wait for it to be over. You got it? Yep. Was static by your side. for the ride. Now I'm not there no more. There's nothing left to ensure. All of my Christmas. It's my favourite time of year. If she thinks I'm getting rid of any, she's got another thing coming. <laughs> So for some reason, Emily thinks we're hanging on to all these Christmas decorations, but I'm going to do the next tip right. Put your Christmas decorations somewhere safe, babe, so they don't get lost. Don't worry. Not even joking, there's about seven flipping boxes of Christmas decorations. We're never here, and we've got the smallest house. <laughs> Are you moaning? About your Christmas tap, or die? I? Not tap. It's still Christmas. It's all Christmas decorations, <laughs> half the contents of our loft, it's flipping yeah. Christmas decorations. This is a box of boxes and it's all the easiest crap. No, just no. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just like, oh Louise, genuinely I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah. Just shimmy. 
Louise, I'm fine to say I'm not even joking here. Put the camera down and help me because I'm stuck. Oh, can you grab the... Yes. Oh. <laughs> Should be. I swear to God. Quick, wait a minute. Oh, I've got the box. Got it. Got it? Yep. Good? Yep. Oh, I was quite stuck then. And you're just wired to back get in the field. Yeah, this is what the people want though. They want to see you in dangerous situations. This is an epically dangerous situation. <laughs> when I said, when I said earlier, prepare yourself for more boring content, I was wrong. This is like, um, what's it called? High adrenaline stuff cleaning out our loft. Also, I think I'm just filming my crutch and not my face. In here is the, uh, the tap and next is going to come down is the sink from now when Louise was going to do the bathroom, which is of course still unfinished. She's not wrong, this is the box of the sink that I was going to put in a couple of years ago. God knows what our new house is going to be like because it's going to be a project and I just feel that every room will have something in there that's not finished. Because <laughs> if you look around this house... <sighs> that was tough. It's 26, 27 outside, so I think it's about 32 in here. It's all empty though, we're just leaving two dining room uh, chairs because the person that's buying the house is going to have the dining table, they're going to leave it here, so we're leaving the chairs. And then, yeah, I don't know how much you can actually see. But the loft is empty. Now what we've got to do is sort through it and work out what we're keeping. Can't wait to see what's in here. We won't bore you too much with memory, oh God. First things first, princess tiara on. Princess mode activated. You might as well switch off now because she goes into right and nod mode when she's got a tiara on. <laughs> but you're right, and she is special, aren't you? I love my tiara, look how cute it is. And apologies for the echo, now that we've emptied out this room, it's um, it's very echoey. But there's all kinds of stuff in here, but there is like stuff from our wedding. Is that your wedding bouquet? It is. Emily's wedding bouquet. Um, all kinds of trinkets, things we've collected from our travels all over the world, but this is what Emily wants to show you. I just like it because when me and Louise first started dating, she obviously was a carpenter and always had wood about everywhere and I got her to write me a contract on a bit of wood <laughs> to say that she will marry me. Hang on, because there's more. So this is from our very first, our very first official date. Yes, our very first official date. Our first few dates weren't official because, um, well, I won't go into it, but no. it's not as nice and innocent as you may believe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, my car was a <laughs> shithole, to put it politely, non-politely. And uh, yeah, you in our drunken state. This oh. I wasn't drink driving, by the way. We mm -mm, was just mm -mm. chilling because we didn't have anywhere to go, so we were just chilling in my car. But in my drunk in my drunken state, Emily made me write this contract. And it does say that she will marry me, but it also, which I think is quite interesting, it says Louise will not leave me in three months' time. <laughs> we will travel. Yeah. You did this. I did. <laughs> we will move to Plymouth with me. We didn't. We moved to Cornwall, and then and will forgive me for all of the stupid things I do. I have surpassed myself with this promise. You have kept that contract. Yeah, Louise will not leave me in three months. Let's just say my track record at the time wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> but 12 years later, it was our anniversary yesterday, wasn't it? Was, it was, yes, was, 12 years. I think 12 years from writing this, probably then. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Oh, happy anniversary. Yay! Maybe in 20 years, I'll get your new block of wood. <laughs> Right, I promise this is the last thing I'll bore you with. So if you came to our live that we did uh, last week or the week before, no idea when it was. Uh, we talked about when we first ever got together and we this is not the first time we've packed up and left. We did it 12, almost 12 years ago. Yes. Uh, we packed everything we had into our Citroen Saxo, which is our car at the time, and a tent and our dog and moved down to Cornwall on a rash decision with no jobs or nowhere to stay. So this is... Let me see if I can show you. This is the boot of our Citroen Saxo and that dog there, that was Wilson. He was Emily's pride and joy. We've got a lot in our memory box for him. This is me um, <laughs> eating cocktail sausages <laughs> in the tent because we had nothing else. Look at my fantastic young little face there. Must have been, what, 26? Yep. Oh, look at the deterrent, the young deterrent <laughs> that was Emily, eh? Look at that. Don't look at... Stay older now, right? Just yeah. a few more wrinkles for sure. You don't, and I was the main chef back in those days um, when we lived in the tent on the outdoor barbecue, so there's me with my hair down. I was going to say, can we just note that the hair is not in pigtails there? I have got hair on though. Yeah, but still, we've got like half, we're halfway there people, halfway there. So yeah, we lived in a tent for a while, it's taken us 12 years, but we've progressed to van. <laughs> <laughs> we are going places folks, we are going places. <laughs> It's a nice sink. It is, yeah.
Yeah, and I've done us a favour, really, when you think about it. Now, hang on, bear with me. We're going to keep that sink. Now, if, if I'd have fitted that sink two years ago, we'd have no new sink to take to our new house. So now we're a sink and a tap up on the renovations for the new project, whenever that may come. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to swear, aren't you? <laughs> she was going to swear. You look for the Drive the 40 50 minutes or so to Emily's mum's, who's very kindly let us use her house for storage, and yeah, and then come back and do a load more. Oh, horrendous, and it's so hot! It is very, very warm. There's no handbrake in this, is there? Oh, I hate this. So, Has it worked? I think I just go and the handbrake comes off. Yeah, no, nope, handbrake's still on. Why did they take away the handbrake? The, ham the handbrake is a great thing. Like, when I picked it up, I just drove it. There we there go. You go. Stupid invention, no <laughs> handbrake. <laughs> Honestly. Right now, you're going to have to deal with all of the noises, okay? And just put up with it, all right? Oh, there goes something. <sighs> all your Christmas decorations are going to be crushed by the time That's you get there. That's not nice, Louise. <laughs> if we put the radio on, we won't hear it. Now I'm screwed because I don't know how to work the flipping handbrake. We do right, handbrake on. Parking brake applied. Oh yeah. Right, we're these dodgy tight spaces. I tell you. No. from the front door, making this process pretty miserable. No, I'm not doing it. No more stuff today. I've had enough. I'm hot. I'm tired. It's not happening. Come on. No, leave me here. Come on, we're nearly done. <laughs> I'm not doing it, Come Louise. On. We're nearly done. No. This really is absolutely horrendous. I feel like we've been doing this forever and it's been, I don't even know how long, I'm just too hot. I just wanna eat my ice pole and I just wanna, I just wanna sit in the sun. <laughs> Emily's not wrong, this is horrendous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's an absolute nightmare and the heat isn't helping, but we've only got one room left to go and that is the worst room, it's the shed. So it's gonna be a task. In the heat as well, so outside in the heat, tired. Um, there's a couple of other jobs I wanted to get done in the van, but the van is way having work done. It's having a fresh MOT, a full service, gearbox oil change. I'm having a few bits done so that it is ready to go. So yeah, we're gonna crack on with the shed, but as sick as we are of doing it, I'm pretty sure that you guys are probably quite bored of watching it. Oh, it's absolutely horrendous. The shed's your domain anyway, so I don't see why I should help you with that. I'd like to help you in the kitchen, and that's your domain. <gasps> if, we, if we're going to get <sighs> thinking about it on that note, um, if you like this video, please do consider hitting subscribe. In next week's video, you'll see us moving into the van and heading off on our long-term adventure. Um, but yeah, that's it from us this week, isn't it? Yes, I'm so excited. Bring on next week. Just bring on next week, right? Yeah, see you later, guys. Bye.